So what's the difference between the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500? Well, the Dow Jones is an index of 30 companies represented by the likes of Microsoft, ExxonMobil, IBM, Procter & Gamble, Walmart. There's roughly 3,500 companies traded on the U.S. stock markets and over 600,000 traded globally. So the 30 companies that make up the Dow represent about 1% of the U.S. stock market. Now, the S&P 500, on the other hand, is, guess what? Yeah, you got it, 500 companies. Now, that's only 14% of the companies traded in the United States, but it still represents a much broader representation of the overall stock market. The NASDAQ is made up of 3,300 companies that tend to be predominantly on the technology side of things. Now, the media loves to talk about the Dow Jones, but not so much the S&P. Why is that? Well, let me give you an example. Today, the Dow Jones is trading at around about 26,000. The S&P 500 at about 3,100. Now, you turn on the news and the headline is, Dow Jones changes by 520 points today. Whoa, that's a big deal. Now, if they do mention that the S&P changed by 62 points that day, it's kind of a, eh, that's not such a big deal. But the fact of the matter is, a 520 point change to the Dow Jones and a 62 point change to the S&P at today's levels represent roughly the same thing about a 2% change in the index. So why do they talk about the Dow? Because that 500 is a bigger number and it gets a more emotional response out of you. So if all they give you is the Dow, yes, please listen, but listen to when they talk about the percentage change, not just the raw number. Now, Sometimes one index is up or down more than the other because of what's in the index and how that index is calculated. And an index may or may not have a strong correlation to your portfolio's returns. Because, I mean, if, you're in, if your portfolio has a large defensive position, either in bonds or cash, that index will either over or under indicate what's actually going on in your actual portfolio. So maybe that index doesn't deserve as much attention as you might be giving it. Now, perhaps I can provide a bit of um, uh, perspective to market volatility. Since 1926, the S&P 500 has returned to investors an average of 10% per year. Now again, that's an average. Your returns are going to be very different depending upon how long you're in the market and decisions that you make. Now, yearly returns are going to vary a lot. The best year ever was up 54%. The worst year was down 43 And remember, since 1926, there's been 69 years where the index figure finished up for the year. 69 up years, 25 down years. So my question to you is, what's your plan? When do you need money from your portfolio? And what rate of return do you need to have to accomplish your financial priorities? Because it's the same old story. People don't plan to fail. However, they do fail to make plans. And often they fail to follow through with the plans that they've already made. Thank you for listening. My name is Fred Wallman, founder of Wallman Wealth Designs. I'm an investment advisor representative with Voya Financial Advisors, and my website is www.fwollman.com. Thanks for watching.